If you only knew the power of the dark side. Welcome back to the channel everyone. It's the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McCloud. AKA Um what? What other amazing thing can you guys think to call me? I'll leave that up to you. But anyway, we're gonna jump right in this video. Now for the past few <laughs> for the past few weeks now. Listen, for the past few weeks, everyone has been on this guy named V Shred's tip about him allegedly, I say allegedly, copying people's videos. Every damn day fitness has made videos about it. Other guys have made video videos about it. Um, damn it, now even Kenny K.O. is jumping on the bandwagon. Now, according to Kenny K.O., him and a few other YouTubers have been sent cease and desist letters by V Shred's because, you know, they're saying, you know, that he's copying Ethylene X and it can possibly ruin his brand by them putting out these, uh, you know, these, what do you want to call it? Accusations. Just like, you know, Kenny K.O. is allegedly trying to ruin Heba Ali's career and got all these subscribers from it, you know. Just, it's, it's, it's a real big, dirty, messy game on this YouTube scene. So what I want to do here is just bring some common sense and some light to this and let you guys know one thing. Before I go in, I want to say this. This, all this shit is about subscribers. The bottom line is about subscribers and selling merch. That's all it's about. See, if we want to talk about people copying videos, listen everyone copies everyone every fitness video you've seen is pretty much regurgitated information every how many times have you seen one youtuber with a how to get bigger biceps video how to get a bigger chest how to get a bigger back bigger quads stronger deadlift over and over and over and over again all day long it gets boring after a while all it is is the same information with the personality of the person speaking it behind it. That's why you see so many videos now of people with these fluffy vlog videos and their dogs and all this crap and these ridiculous ass camera cuts where they're pouring protein powder into a shaker cup in slow motion with some with some ridiculous melodo me melodic music behind it in the background and weird jump cuts like that's all it is you know after a while you say man what can i do to tap into the market and you know that's why like, all of a sudden everyone's a vegan now everyone's copying that vegan day everybody in their mom's going vegan i'm going vegan i'm going vegan i'm going vegan because they want to tap into that market that they can't normally reach with their lack of personality and fluffy vlog videos it's like how many times can someone watch you wake up in the morning with your camera already on for some reason but yet it captures you yawning and doing your morning route come on man that shit is whack you know it's whack y'all know let me let me let me cut the, let me cut the crap here that's some bullshit <laughs> Y'all know that's some corny, that shit corny to the motherfucker, man. That shit is corny. Yet, you know, you got the fanboys and fangirls who come in. Oh my god, I love you so much. Oh, they're just so obsessed with these people and these ridiculous, weak ass copycat videos. Everything is a copycat. So when they, when, um, you know, every damn day fitness and Kenny Kyo says, you know, oh, V Shreds is copying Athlete X, everyone looks to, to, for inspiration in those before them. What about Picasso? What about Leonardo da Vinci? What about all these great minds? All these artists out there? All these singers and dancers? Everyone copies everything from someone before them. Everything is drawn inspiration. They kind of put their own twist on it. These stretch videos allegedly look similar to Athelene Nexus videos. You know what I'm saying? He's not copying word for word, but some stuff may seem similar because it's on the topic of whatever the topic may be. If it's how to bench press, you may be saying some similar stuff. And there may be some copycatism going on there. It just may be. Allegedly, I wouldn't know. But the thing is, everyone's doing it. For instance, what's the guy who sits in his car and he does the rants? Um, can't think of his name. I'm cool with the guy though. I know, I, you know, he's real cool. I'm not, not bashing him at all. I can't think of his name. But every damn day fitness is doing the same thing he's doing. 
Robert Frank, Robert Frank, yeah, that's his name. Robert Frank, shout out to Robert Frank, man, what's up? Um, Every Damn Day Fitness is copying Robert Frank's videos. He's not doing the whole, the ranting thing like Robert Frank does because I don't think he can do it as good as Robert Frank does. You know what I'm saying? That's Robert Frank's avenue. I don't think anyone can do that the way Robert Frank does it. If you try to, it'll look corny, all right? So he does his same thing sitting in the car and he's ranting, but you know, he's, he's cursing, mother effer, mother effer, da 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 da. You know, he's trying to make his own little thing, but he's still inside the car. So is he copying every, is he copying Robert Frank's essence in a sense? I mean, come on. I mean, he's in a car, Robert Frank's in a car. You know what I'm saying? Come on, come on. Kenny KO now, you, you're stepping out here. Let me, let me bring this up here. Let me. He mentions, but a lot of the references he makes in the video are very similar to the comments I made in my video. Now, I'll, I'll give you your hitting, you know, like I said, you're powerlifting and doing PRs, then I always recommend a weight belt just to be on the safe side. Condition where you actually should be wearing a brace for your back throughout entire workouts or just the entire day in general. The only time that you should be wearing a weightlifting belt or a low back brace is when you're doing heavy weighted workouts, period. It was why you shouldn't. Now, how dare you say anything about anyone copying anyone's videos when it's so obvious that you copied the one and only Nick Strength and Power's video style. I do believe, hey, Nick Strength and Power was the first one I've seen do the videos the way he does them. Now, he does the videos the same way. He just recently started incorporating putting his cell phone cam as much. But he was doing those same Nick Strength and Power type videos where you not you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if Nick Strength and Power was the originator of that type of video. Maybe he might have saw someone who did one before. I don't know. But if he did, okay, well, he draw he drew inspiration from someone before him. Just like you copy his, just like me. I, I, I There's no fluff from me. I, I shoot you straight. I copied the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those people that said, well, shit, what do people want to see? Well, people seem to like those those Instagram type of videos where you're, you know, showing your, your desktop screen. So I went and got some desktop software, downloaded it, and I started making those type of videos because clearly the people like it. Now, I'm not copying these guys word for word. You know, my shit's all freestyle. I'm freestyling right now. A rip it rip it rip 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 motherfucker. So, you know what I'm saying? It, but it's you know, the style of video. Am I copying? You know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about people copying, like he said somewhere else in this video, like he, um, like play, he said he mentioned plagiarizing. I don't know where to skip to. It's just a bunch of fluff here. Let me see. Past record of being guilty of copying Athlean X. I just, I find it very hard now to believe him as a person. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. He says it's hard to believe him as a person because he copied Athlean X. Like I said, man, you know, there may be some copying there, allegedly. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? He's not copying word for word. It's not like you can put them side by side and play both videos at the same time and it's going to be perfectly in sync. It's pretty much the same information. How many bigger chest press videos have you heard the guy say the same thing? Retract your scapula, tuck your elbows in. You know, don't let your arms flare out. So if you find two similar videos from two different guys, are they copying each other? In a sense, yeah, intentionally, who knows? All I know is that there's a thousand bench press videos made by like each person on YouTube who's been on YouTube for long enough time. You, how many big back videos have you seen um, Chris Jones make? Not, not, not picking shots at Chris Jones at all, I'm just saying, he said it himself. You have to put your own spin on things, you know, you keep saying the same stuff over and over. It's pretty, he's, Chris Jones even said, I have a ton of bit, a ton of bicep videos on my channel, but you have to keep putting them up there because, you know, there's always someone new coming along. So that's all this is, it's just regurgitated information. But guys, do they want to milk it? Why? Because they're getting subs. Just like, you know, he said right here, let me play this part right here back. This is what shocks me. Athlean X, I just, I find it being guilty of copying Athlean X. I'm guilty of copying Athlean X. Record of being guilty of copying Athlean X. I just, I find it very hard now to believe him as a person. So so he says he finds it hard to believe him as a person for copying Athlean X. Let's, let's dig deep right here. Because I know you guys are still listening. You hang on every word that I say. So you're still listening. So check this out. You're talking about people find it hard to believe. 
him because he's copying after the next but i mean come on now like i said the, the the essence of this whole situation is everyone is doing this for the sub count so when you make videos copying um nick strength and power yet you do people you do stuff like you know allegedly call out people like heba ali for fake weights you know what i'm saying and then you don't even like i said in this video these screenshots that's exposing some of the major information that you know that he left out of his videos the way he edited the video to make it seem like you know what i'm saying the, to, you know to, to shape the narrative of the video leaving out vital information then you know thus you know allegedly ruining her career i'm pretty sure her and her buddies her team has lost money because of this but guess who's gaining kenny ko 162k he went up from 50k to 162k because of his youtube video he made about heba ali allegedly using fake weights i mean listen a known yet unknown YouTuber who just recently made his way to the top. But how, one might ask. According to one of my reliable sources, he used lies, treachery, and deceit to accomplish Yeah, lies, treachery, and deceit to accomplish this. Pretty much leaving out information, shaping the narrative, you know what I'm saying? It, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's not about copying people. It's about you guys see someone who made a similar video, and you, you know, you want to make a video about it to gain more subscribers it's all about the subscribers and selling merch because let's be honest if v shreds channel was as big as my channel with only 1200 i have one i can't see my own stuff with only 1k subscribers right do you think that kenny ko and and um what's his, what's his freaking name um Every damn day fitness. That's a ridiculous name. But do you think these guys would be making a video about V Shreds if his channel was small? No. Why? Because he has no reach. No one knows about him. And all they will be doing is exposing him to more subscribers. So, of course, they wouldn't make a video about him because it would only be helping him out in the long run. You know, because look, I made this video here. I've made a few videos about Kenny KO. I made videos about um, a bunch of fitness guys. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've called out a lot of fraudulentness I've seen on YouTube. Has any of these guys made a video about me? No, Kenny KO actively goes out of his way to avoid me like I'm the Hulk. <laughs> you know, he hasn't made a video. Everyone, I mean, come on now. He's seen this video here. He's seen this. He sat there and he looked at his name on this screen. Is it the same way you're looking at it now? Has he made a video about it? No, because it's fear. Because a person like me, with originality and persona, and, and a strong personality, man, come on, man, you you, you don't want to be in the you don't want someone like me in the game, because once I'm in the game, it's it's a wrap, it's a wrap. People are gonna look at you like, oh, you're you're um leftovers from from two weeks ago. You know, no one wants to eat that. No one wants to ingest that information, that crap. You know what I'm saying? So they want to keep the bar low, because I'll show up and I'll do something cool like this. You know, I'm showing up doing this right here. Because I'm, I'm saying all this to show you guys just how fraudulent this industry is. So I just figured out a way to save yeah, a yeah, bunch cool, of money bro. online. Awesome. I was really? about to buy these headphones. Really? Those headphones? For, yeah. For okay. Look. You see this? You see these skills? Look at that shit. That's, that's, called, that's called not wanting to compete. <laughs> no one's gonna mention a guy who can do that in a video they're not why i recently seen jason blaha throw shots jason blaha threw some shots someone said something about you gonna make a video about damian mcleod because he made a video about you that's like 60k right now it's well over 60,000 hits on that video blaha steps out and says oh he's insignificant he's this and that um blah 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 no, what do you mean i'm insignificant if my subscriber went up tomorrow to 100k all of a sudden, I'm something in life now. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> all of a sudden, I'm a man now. Do my balls drop all of a sudden now? Like, what are you talking about? It's just subscriber count. You know what I'm saying? People only make videos about people whose subscribers are high. So, like, if V Shred didn't have any subs, he was like 300, 400 subs, a thousand subs. No one would give a fuck. They wouldn't be making this video. He wouldn't be sitting here in this goofy ass moist shirt, talking about shirt off, pants down, bending over, whatever the hell is supposed to mean. What does that even mean? Why would you take off your shirt and pull your pants down, bro? Hmm. 
looking for that bro love what do you what would be the point i don't get it but anyway no they would not be making these videos no every damn day fitness wouldn't be sitting in his car working on his sixth video you know what i'm saying <laughs> Just, just, just going out the same rhetoric over and over and over. No, it wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? Jason Blaha, come on now. I've made a, a ton of videos about him. Those guys have made tons of videos. I've seen, I don't know if Kenny K.O. made a, video, a Blaha video, but, um, what's his name? Every, I can't remember this ridiculous name. Every Damn Day Fitness, he made a bunch of videos about the so-called fake Merc. You know what I'm saying? Steve Shaw. Steve Shaw hasn't made a video about me yet, but he made videos about the fake Merc because Blaha has his name in the game. So it's all about getting buzz. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't give a damn about it if you were like, you know, a low subscriber count. They wouldn't care. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, um, Steve Shaw showed up to my Facebook page and posted, you know, he started some drama. He has people saying that, oh, you bought your YouTube subscribers and this and that because he went on a social blade. I have my YouTube subscribers locked so you can't see it. And when you unlock it, it compiles all your subs that you've gotten over the last six months all into that one day. It's just how the thing worked. So when you saw that big group of subs on that one day, he put it out there, you know, amongst his buddies that, oh, Damien bought subscribers. And they put the battery in some remedial guy's back and, and sent him on his way. Then he made a video about it. It really didn't catch any traction because everyone knows. Come on. It's just, it was ridiculous. You know, who would buy? It was only like 200 subs. Who will go buy a 200 subscriber packet? 200 subscribers. Do they even sales packets that low? Why would you want to buy 200 subscribers? If I were going to go spend some money on subscribers, I would probably buy like 10K, 20K. What the fuck? I'm going all out. Go buy 200 subscribers. Yeah, okay, anyway. But yeah, you know, he wouldn't put that out there. You know what I'm saying? But he won't dare mention me in a video. They won't do a, a video about my name and the title. Like they do everyone else who has, you know, that V shreds. I have yet to see Damien McLeod on the title of anyone's video except for the remedial guy. I don't even go at him because like I said, people with mental issues, I tend not to bother them. You know, I don't I don't poke fun at the mentally challenged. I just don't. It's not that's not what I'm about. I have honor and integrity. So you know when the guy makes rap videos about me, I kinda ignore him. Because it's different, you know. It's it's not it's not what I'm about. It's not cool at all to make fun of the mentally challenged. It's not. So why have these guys? You, come on, man. It's it's clear. Like I said, this right here. You saw that shit? Look at that. Yeah, they they don't they can't compete with that. You cannot compete with that. Those type of skills, my my my. My linguistic abilities, come on man, my wittiness, my quick thinking, come on. The fact that I'm, I'm strong as a bull, come on now. I'm beating you on all fronts. But anyway, this isn't about me, this is about, you know, more milking the V-Shreds subject of him allegedly stealing views, um, not stealing views, um, copying videos. It's all a sham. I mean, come on, this guy has clearly copied Nick Strength and Power. Um, Everyone copies everyone. Everyone says the same thing. There's nothing new under the sun on YouTube fitness. It's just everyone's rhetoric put behind it. They may put a little bit of slanderous, little extra on it. Sometimes people just make up stuff. I've heard stuff on here that makes absolutely no sense. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a world of fake natties and, and gaining subs. That's all it is. So, yeah, I think, I'll, you know, that's all I want to say about that. The first video I made about this was just as good, but for some reason, I didn't hit the record button on my screen capture. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyway, guess I'll end that here. If you guys haven't already done so, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. I am subliminally in your mind. And um, check out the gaming. I'm also streaming on YouTube now, Twitch, and Mixer. Playing PUBG, Frank castle style destroying these kids ripping faces splitting wigs so you're going to see a few of those videos pop up on the channel from time to time i'm not going to play all of the videos on here sometimes when i stream i might delete it because you know i don't want a ton of those videos every so often if i do some cool stuff i might leave those videos on you know what i'm saying but anyway make sure you check it out it's going down the takeover still coming eventually i'll catch the same buzz as a Kenny KO, I mean, damn, he went from like 40 something K to 162K off of making a video about Heba Ali. So, wow, you know, eventually I'll catch my wind. But until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. Forever.
adversaries cry like hoes Fully eradicate my foes My lyrics explode on contact Came in you hoes Who else but mama's only son Put the phony niggas up the Say my name, watch bitches come 